Hello. Today we're playing with the wheel. Finally. I've wanted to set this up for the absolute longest time. But we've finally done it. The wheel is ready. We're ready to play. We're going to play some Need for Speed with the wheel. Now, okay, there's a few things I do want to, thankfully, I can switch back and forth to the controller. I'm going to start with this Evo right here, which actually has a class 1, 3, 2, which is very, very slow in the scheme of things. And I, there's no option to have the touchpad on the wheel. It's difficult in my head for me to decide what view to use. Because normally with arcade racers, you're like, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. What we need to do is use this view here. When it comes to videos, you want to see the outside view. You don't want to see the hood view. Because of course there's no cockpit view in this game. Basically, it's either the hood view, shift down again a little bit, or the front view, the, the, the bumper view, I guess you would call it. So I'm a hood view man myself with a wheel. This car is so slow. I Honestly, I've not driven it in this slow in such a long time. It might actually be too slow to drive in need for speed. I'm doing 70 miles an hour up a hill. I removed basically all of the good parts that came on this car and made it absolutely awful. As awful as it could possibly become. And as you can see, it's about to, oh, I was gonna say it's about to top out. I'm using manual, gotta remember. So yes, I've not had much time with the wheel just yet on need for speed. I do know that it's still a bit of a strange concept to me. The gear just freaked out. There's, wait, the car doesn't have seven gears. I have seven gears on my shifter. It doesn't have six gears. It's freaking the hell out. <laughs> it's weird to get used to again because it is an arcade race. So let's shift. <laughs> yes. Wait, can we actually, I wonder if we can beat the top speed in the car. I guess we could just eventually put seven gears into every car and it would make sense, but oh, no, interesting. I think it makes the most sense to switch car though. What do we drive next? I don't want to jump straight to a 400 plus because that would be rather silly. I want to jump to something like 300. There you go, the Infinity. The Infinity that I downgraded after making that video. In fact, the wire is only 300 because I removed all the good parts from it. Hang on, how about a Huracan? The Huracan that we ruined. Oh, starting in fifth. Here we go, baby. We basically tried to ruin this car in every way we possibly could by making it the slowest car. Yes! <laughs> Let's get it, baby. In the gear that doesn't exist, sixth and fifth hybrid. So I am topping out, but can I go any faster? I can. I can, pr I can force extra gear. Ah! And luckily though, we can easily just switch to using the paddles anytime we want, so that is Super, super nice, especially for a car like this, because it's a modern car. To me, I, I want to use the paddles. At the same time, it would be amazing to have the shifter on a, a new Lambo boy like this. Now, this is, I'd say, more of a drift car than anything. It is, I really bugs me how it <laughs> tops out so easily, but I want to see how a drift car does. Now, again, this has been ruined. <laughs> Can I swap the engines in the, oh yes, yes, yes. Oh, I put a flat 12 in it, not a V, okay. Well, we do have my V12, which I definitely could put in here. And then we could put some drift stuff in here. Speed cross, I mean, oh, we have drift. Now that's better. I was talking about not using, How? Oh, 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 oh. hold on a second. I think the drifting actually makes a little bit more sense when I'm using the wheel, at least on that one slide. Let's replicate that, baby. Oh my God! You have to count to steer! What? This is not need for speed, baby! I may have just jumped into the best drift car possible, yes. But holy crap! <laughs> what? Okay. This has made me really want to get properly into the drifting on this game now and build some proper drift cars because that, that is what I've been looking for this whole time, Ghost. Brake to drift in the bin, yes. But clutch kick to drift with actual counter steering? Mate, I will take that any day. Oh, that's too much. That's too much. I haven't actually put drift tires on this thing yet, but we've got normal tires on. That's so good. You know what, we need to do a drift event. I am no drift god, but this needs it. Let's get it, baby. You know it. Pink Lambo, Purple Man, 1 million subscribers. You're all mental, just as mental as me. We've got to get 140K. I don't know if we can do that. All right, this is my first one. 
We'll see. Here we go, baby. Let's get it. I'm so ready for this. Get that, get that speed up. We need that speed up. And pull a skid. Shift down a little bit. I'm going to go off. I'm going to go off. No. It's all right. We got 9,000 on the first two corners. Was that two? Technically. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Kick out. Oh, you see that snap? This is really freaking good. It feels as it should. I had trouble the other day driving on this game with a wheel because, again, it's been a wheel. It's been a wheel. It's been a while since I've used a wheel in general, but jumping on a Need for Speed game with one is, well, extra weird because to me, it just, it's always been a controller based game, you know? But this is telling me more and more that it might be a per car basis thing because this. I'm liking it. I feel like I need, I feel like I maybe need to put dual turbos on. I might be on a big single and that's definitely <laughs> making it not spool as often as it should. We need to get rid of the big spoolie boy and go for the little spool. I'm just banging on the throttle. <laughs> keep that, keep that momentum. How do you like your Lambo in the morning? I like my whistle skids. Damn it. I think I'm definitely a hood view man. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get it going. Just don't hit those stupid barriers because they slow down so much. Shift down. These Lamborghinis get, to, get one good slide on this damn event. I know we're probably going to... Are we going to do it? That's too much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 bit far, bit far. Oh, we were so close to the objective. That was so damn close. I'll take it. I'll take it. 20,000 off. Since the update, we still get 18 grand. Really? <laughs> it is dual turbos. Right. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Drift tires. I'm really glad that you can actually do it outside without entering the garage. Very cool. Uh, drift tires. There we go. Elite drift tires. No excuses. Now we get it. Well, that was really snappy. That's much snappier now. <laughs> it's hard for me to say exactly how this is because I, I need some more time. It feels a little bit inconsistent at times, but it, it may be because I just haven't put the time in yet. I've got to relearn it almost and also get a car that spools quickly because this is just a little bit inconsistent. You know, you know, you know. We're now switching to a race with a very beautifully colored. Are those new sound effects. Those are new sound effects. That is freaking cool. Anyway, we're jumping into another race with a Performante. It is a Performante. This car has been doing rounds because Forza just added it. You're late. Sorry, no, it's okay. It's still, it's still cool. Uh, it's a shame we can't really customize this car. We can customize it as much as we can. On, actually, I think on Forza, there might be more. All right, let's get it anyway. So we're jumping back to a race car now. So we were in a drift car before. I have a huge suspicion that Again, the reason I've been using a lot of Lamborghini Huracans this video is because there's honestly it's the most versatile platform in this bloody franchise right now. Everyone will recommend to you that the Huracan, the standard Huracans, are pretty damn good at driving in normal racing, and the rear wheel drive one is good at drifting. In fact, it's probably one of the best drift cars as I have demonstrated in a previous video. But yeah, I wanted to drive these with the cars because as I said, they're very versatile. I can get a car that handles somewhat similar all round and then thrash it through a different bunch of ideas. But look at this, recommended this 280. Oh my God, and do you know what? I feel like you can turn maybe a little bit better with a wheel than you can with a controller. I have a, a slight suspicion. I don't know, if, maybe because I'm going slower. <laughs> We might have to do some experimentation on this because this, this feels good. It's still got that weird when you're turning and you brake, it turns a lot more. That actually might be advantageous. If you just keep tapping the brake through a corner, you might get some cheeky advantages to turning because look how sharply that went. All right, we're coming up to a bit where we can boost. I want to see how I control it when we boost. Are you ready? You're ready. I'm sure you're ready. Let's get it. Look at that turning. Look at that turning. <laughs> I'm actually impressed. I think I could properly give this a go with a wheel. Here we go. This is the final lap. That was, I thought I had the big NAS. That is so disappointing. <laughs> oh, do you know what it is? I've just realized when you break, the wheels allow more turning. They allow you to turn them more. 
they, they react quicker to your input on the direction. Interesting. I've, this might be something I've just noticed more so in a wheel because you get more feedback from it, but this might have been a thing in Need for Speed for a long time. Don't get me wrong. It could be the same with the controller, but I just could have been so oblivious to the idea. Turn! No! We're on the last lap! Don't mess it up! No! No! Play serious, boy! I'm gonna change the view because we're doing serious. Oh, God. Oh, no! I've ruined it! It's in the bin. No, it's not. It could still do it. Oh, beat the BMW. Beat the BMW. Boom. Get in the bin, Pima. It's time for some Huracana action. Where's first place? He ain't even here. Oh, it was Cleo. We just got beat by him. That is horrendous. But I know I can do better. Okay. How do I feel overall then? It feels a little bit odd to have wheel support in a game that doesn't have a cockpit view. I know some people are gonna make use of this. Some people are gonna love the wheel support. I, for one, I'm, I'm gonna be one of those people. I don't know how often I'm gonna play with it, but I think for the next while, at the very least, I definitely wanna see and explore and play around with how it works because uh, it, it, it gives more feeling to it. So I'm, for reference, using a Thrustmaster. And yeah, that's... <laughs> That's pretty much my, my setup. I'm using a Thrustmaster Gran Turismo thingy bob. It's actually on the Gran Turismo setting, which I find actually makes it feel a little bit better. I don't know quite exactly why, but yeah. All right, there you go. Wheel support on Need for Speed Heat. Finally got around to making the video. Hopefully you enjoyed. Be sure to smash like if you did. Subscribe if you are new, and I will see you in the next video. Until next time, we might have to do a high heat event with this. We'll see. Peace.